Hi, this is Shara Ali, Deputy Leader of the Green Party. I'm at the uh, inaugural Suffolk Festival of Ideas and I've just come from an event discussing climate change. I think it was a fantastic panel, it was well attended. And what I was talking about was the problem and the urgency of people, including political parties, trying to tackle the problem of climate change. And that problem comes about in a couple of ways. Firstly, climate is a justice issue. We have people halfway around the world in low-lying areas, coastal areas, for example in Bangladesh, who are suffering the consequences as we speak of the West's overconsumption. And these are people who are both least responsible for those negative consequences and least able to afford the remedial action required to contend with it. Also, climate change uh, is also affecting species loss. On an annual basis, if we are losing 0.01%, we can't actually put a figure on the number of species that we share this beautiful planet with, but a fairly modest figure would give that an estimate of tens of millions of species being lost due to biodiversity degradation as a result of man-made impacts. So that's something else which the Green Party cares very much to want to do something about. And also we're talking about solutions here and we were looking at the kind of things that are required in terms of both political, social, structural change because make no mistake politics isn't just about looking after number one important that it is to care about our own well-being and those of our immediate ones but we think politics is also about survival of the species there's nothing more painful than an uninhabitable planet and we always have as greens one eye on future generations people who aren't around yet to press their claim upon us but do have a stake in what we're leaving behind for them and moreover the other species that we share this planet with so some of the solutions actually are to do with the economy. It's not just tinkering around the edges, but fixing a thoroughly discreditable and broken economy which, because of the government's austerity agenda, is hurting most those most vulnerable in society and making them pay for the consequences of casino-style investment banking. That has to stop. We need to replace the economy with a carbon-based system, something which costs things and properly values things according to the cost to the planet. And there was a lot of talk and discussion about a transition town movements, grassroots, mobilised, local people actually frustrated with lack of political action trying to do something for themselves. And I do think that that is where the solution is going to come from. It's going to come from people, whether they're frustrated or they're inspired about the things that they can do better and have a win-win situation where they're not so hung up on the, the next uh, commercial entity or commodification of their own experiences. They actually want to live a better, healthier society. They care about the people around them and they care about the planet and the environment and what they're leaving behind for future generations. So the politics is going to come not just from contesting and challenging the structures of society through, as Suffolk would say, a festival of ideas, but it's also about bringing those ideas to fruition and making them a reality.